Hey guys, how's it going? Doody Rhino here. I'm back. What the fuck am I doing today? Well, basically, yesterday I turned 25. That is right, a quarter of a fucking century. That is disgusting. But also, there's this challenge going on. It's called Roast Yourself Challenge, where some big YouTubers are roasting old pictures of themselves. So I thought I'll reactivate my Facebook, which has been disabled for about four years. Have to say, was horrified looking through that. And find some juicy pictures for me to take the piss out of myself and for you to take the piss out of me in the comments and everyone has a nice time and that quality that's fucking quality let's get on with it then you can okay so i'm starting off strong right i'm starting off now now be careful in the comments because i am 10 here yeah it was a fancy family fancy dress i don't know what the fucking theme was but somehow i've gone as george michael r.i.p i've gone look at that i mean that, that that's when you know there's going to be belief that i'm going to have a beard later on in life that, that that was like a fine tip fucking felt fucking eyeliner pen thing my mum did sunglasses with my mum's those je those jeans the Union Jack under the rip. I think I should have been executed for those jeans. Let alone the combination of the woman's belt. But th those those jeans, I mean, it, the, the... I know that George Michael was gay, right? I don't think he was gay when he was in Wham! Because you can see, like, Wham! written on the shirt there. Magnificent effort. I don't know if George Michael actually went round in his own merch. Do they even have a merch saying, I don't know. But, but basically what I'm saying is... That, that pose... That pose is concerning. Also, and not necessarily a reflection on George Michael R.I.P. because we don't know his political standing on Brexit, but those jeans, I know I'm going on about the jeans a lot, okay? They, I'm disturbed that I ever fucking wore them. Those jeans just scream Brexit means Brexit. So I can just imagine Tommy Robinson just rocking up to his next rally. Covered in milkshake, <laughs> hey, you know, in, and in those jeans, you decided to like my new fun flares, not too bad. Boot cut, boot cut. Let's get the immigrants out. Next up, we're gonna we're gonna go from time to we're gonna time hop here, jumping all around the shop. This is not gonna be linear, okay? So if you got OCD, sorry, but I don't care. Here we got me. I believe that was 2015. Now that beard is strong. There's no denying the strength of that beard, but I can now fully see why people close to me were starting to say like, is this, is he? Is he being fucking converted over to jihadi ISIS and that? Like they're starting to like look into my emails and that because they were getting concerned <laughs> that I was gonna be a, a terrorist insurgent. And I completely get it. Moving swiftly on from terrorism, now if you've watched Jack's roast video, you'll have seen this because I actually gave gave this to Jack to roast and I, I think he went along the lines of a rapist which I mean, that full-on suede jacket, I kind of... <laughs> yeah, fair play. But that was when I was 18, I had a modelling career. And let me tell you, this isn't the last modelling picture we're going to see. Oh, no, I'm treating you today. But that was the last time I was razor blade clean-shaven. I've been, like, trimmer shaved, but not razor blade to the bone clean-shaven, unlike there. And, I mean, I don't know if, if the modelling agency whitened my teeth, but if they... I mean, Jesus Christ, I don't think that was a Colgate shoot, but Jesus fucking Christ. But I do remember a little bit of pointless information. That was a winter shoot, and I had been clean shaven for the first time in like a year, and it was cold. I mean, jeez, I wanted to die. Uh, and then I looked in the mirror, and I wanted to die. So, uh, so yeah, I think that was probably when my depression started. <laughs> now... <laughs> It was some cultural appropriation, Oompa Loompa style. This was, I was 18 here, I'm third one back, the Oompa Loompa with the beard. This was a fancy dress for a stag in Birmingham. And uh, safe to say we got a bit of attention that night. But that was, that was mental. But I remember just getting shit from everyone on the stag that I was an Oompa Loompa with a beard. It's like, all right, sorry, it's not entirely fucking film accurate. Sorry, none of the fucking Oompa Loompas had a beard. I'm not going to shave for one fucking night on the set. Um. Now, I promise I'm not a paedophile, okay? I understand. You're looking at this just like I am. I get it. Yeah, I was being funny. I was shaving. Yeah, so I thought, oh, I'll do... You know, it's unfounded whether I went far enough to leave a Hitler, yeah? I might have done a goatee and all the rest of it. Here you can see I went for the Mario. I have got the kind of 
fucking Adolf going on up top. No fade, slightly disappointed. I think this might have been before I discovered the beauty of a fade. And before you all have a pop at me, look, I smashed my ribs up the other day. Yeah, they're still fucked, so I missed my hair appointment, all right? So that's why the fade didn't quite there, leave me alone. But yeah, this, I mean, you've got the vest tan line. That means I, oh man. No, actually, I, I, I wasn't walking around in a vest with this sash on because then I reckon I would have been put on a register instantaneously. But that is tragic, and that is why I will never sport just a moustache. Okay, uh, I can't remember how long ago this was. Maybe I was 17, 18, maybe this was the, this was the treat at the end of the, uh, the season for the lifeguards at Hopton, Haven. Um, and I'm, <laughs> you can see all the guys there, like, yeah, we're log flu, yes, fucking legend. And I'm just like, fabulous. I'm not gay. There's nothing wrong with being gay, but I'm not gay. And I know there's been at least two pictures so far that allude to me enjoying the panisse. And I can just, uh, I, it's not true, okay? I am straight. But I'm throwing this in there, this isn't technically a roast. Apart from, my, I do look like I've got a terminal illness. I don't know why I am so horrifically pale. I mean, I know I'm quite pale now, but Jesus Christ, do I have jaundice. But anyway, some of you may recognise the gentleman next to me. I can't remember his name. All I remember is he was from Kaching. Growing up, I used to watch Kaching, yeah? Curry, sha, 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 Kaching, yeah? So, I saw this guy. He had a fun little presenting gig. This was at the NEC, some sort of sports thing. That was all. Anyway, he had a presenting gig. Yeah, it's good to see him still getting work because his acting career has obviously gone down the pan. Now I went up to him. Yeah, I was like, listen, yeah, I'm, yeah. listen. Um, I, I used to watch Kaching as a kid. Loved it. Yeah, loved it. Great work. Loved, loved your work. You, you slimmed down. You lost a lot of weight. Anyway, it's irrelevant. I suppose, just, just for you know, you can give it a coaching with me, and he went, nah, I won't do that, mate. So, whoa, cunt, right? <laughs> don't forget where you fucking come from, yeah? Don't think that you're better than the CBBC, scum, yeah? <laughs> Once you're established in children's television, you're locked in, yeah? There's no escaping that, prick. So if I want you to do the fucking ka-ching... Yeah, you're gonna do the fucking ka-ching. That's like one of you guys coming up to me and say, oh, can you say sweet one geese? I'm like, no, I don't do that anymore, grown out. Like, Shut up. Know your roots, ka-ching boy. <sighs> Listen, I'm not gay, right? I'm, I swear to God, I am not gay, yeah? Don't be mistaken by this seemingly uh, severely homosexual photo shoot. Um, it was for Gay Farmers Weekly. No, it wasn't. It was just, I don't know, I, 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 we just went around taking photos. Got my friend Hannah, she's a photographer, she was taking some pictures of some of them and mate Daryl. I hadn't spoken to him for years. Um, all got a bit weird after that photo shoot, do you know what I mean? But uh, we're on a hay bale. And it's not gay. <laughs> oh, fuck me. So. Throughout the whole of high school, four years of high school, year 8, 9, 10, 11, tw 8, 9, 10, 11, learn to count cunt. I never had a girlfriend. Can you tell why? <laughs> Fuck me, the cardigan, yeah, the, the cardigan beanie combo, emo hair. There is actually a blonde stripe in that. I'm sorry to, to let you know. The t-shirt in that bad. It's a Joker Japanese comic book thing. Like, I'm not going to bat that too much. Not as much as a fucking cardigan. But then also understand the time. Yeah, this was like 2009. Ten years ago. Fuck me. This was ten whole years ago. Um, cardigans were in. Yeah, I know some of you were still in the womb. Right? So you don't understand. Cardigans, was they weren't in. That was why I was a virgin. Yeah, they weren't. Yeah, fuck.
So that's it guys, I hope you've enjoyed, I really fucking enjoyed taking a little trip down memory lane, it's been great. Thank you so much for the growth on the channel, it's been fucking mental. Like I say, if this video gets a thousand likes, we'll do another one. That's it guys, um, if you want to become a patron, if you want to donate, if you want to become a sponsor, if you want to buy any merch, all those links are down below. They help us out, but the main thing is that you like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much, we will see you very soon with another video. Sweet one, guys.